Greetings, Benjamin J. the Victoria Guy with another in the series. Well, what you're looking at, of course, is the Edison 1878 demonstration phonograph. Now, I've modified the phonograph. I've removed the this little tiny, tiny wooden original horn and made an adapter that screws in to the diaphragm holder uh, that has a half-inch connector on it, so now I can use standard Edison horns of any kind. Plus morning glory horns, speaking tubes, listening tubes, uh, just a quick screw in adapter uh, makes the machine much more efficient. Still experimenting with different styluses of course. This is still the blade stylus and we're going to be doing a quick recording on one mil aluminum foil. So I've got a piece of foil cut as you can see now, in order to attach this to the mandrel, what I'm doing is using school glue. This works extremely well. It's easy, no muss, no fuss. So you just run a bead of this glue along one edge. You take the foil and you place it directly on the mandrel. And then just kind of eyeball it down the side to see if it's straight or not. Stick it to the mandrel, wrap it around the mandrel, trying to keep it centered as much as possible, and bring it up on top. We just run a bead of glue right there, and stick it down. There we go. We'll just wipe off the excess glue. And then slowly go around the edge and just fold this excess down the side of the mandrel to get it out of the way. You have to do this gently because you don't want to wrinkle the surface that's on the mandrel. So just lightly push this over. That all helps, also helps it keep it quite stable on the mandrel. Okay. And just chase these edges down so it gives you a nice smooth surface to record on. Okay, so we've installed the foil on the machine. We'll turn the mandrel back to its starting position. This machine is only capable of recording about 60 words. So you want to get the stylus lined up as closely as possible with the very first groove in order to make the most of your recording. Well, that's about as close as I'm going to get right there. So we lock our stylus down, turn the mandrel and see where our groove is and how deep it is. Okay, that looks fairly good. In this case, I'm going to use a very small 8 inch, actually 7 inch fiberboard horn I'm going to be speaking, actually yelling, directly into the end of this. And to play it back, we'll use a uh, slightly bigger horn. So make sure the stylus is all the way forward and locked in position. And we're ready to make a recording. Hello, hello, hello. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha. All right, so we take off the recording horn, pull back the stylus, rewind the machine. Back to our starting point. Alright, relock the stylus in position, and this is the recording we just made. Let me back this horn up just a touch, or this camera back up a touch so you can see the horn. Okay, here's the recording we just made. So, the next 
few days, like I said, I'm going to be changing the stylus to a uh, standard needle stylus rather than a blade. And I'm going to change these gaskets, I think, from paper to polymer. And I will be uh, doing some recording on other types of foil. There's brass foil, copper foil, lead foil. Of course, there's original tin foil. And what I'm recording on right now is one mil aluminum foil. So just a, uh, another quick experiment with the tin foil phonograph. This is the 1878 Hardy uh, demonstration phonograph. This was the third machine that Edison ever built and the very first phonograph that was ever sold to the public. And it's called a demonstration phonograph simply because it has such a small mandrel. It was built simply to demonstrate the process of recording. Remember when this machine came out, no one had ever seen or heard a recorded sound before. So this is the 1878 Edison demonstration phonograph built by Edme Hardy in Paris. Very, very unique and uh, interesting artifact. It's just a truly magnificent old machine. This is serial number 12. Uh, this, is, of course, is a museum quality reproduction. But I just wanted to do a quick uh, video, still experimenting with the tin foil phonograph, the stylus, the uh, new adapter I made for using different horns, and like I said, I can now also use a morning glory horn, a speaking tube, a listening tube, virtually anything, but still working on the stylus, trying to improve the results. So as always, if you have a question, feel free to drop me an email, thebigtrumbleguy at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.